Hi, I'm Sarah from Made on the Common, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through the automated Etsy bookkeeping template that's been designed especially for non VAT registered sellers who are based in the UK, Australia, or in Europe, as long as your payment account is in English. There are a few different versions of the templates listed over in the Made on the Common shop, but they all share a few common features. So they work by you pasting in your monthly payment statement that you can download from the finance section of Etsy and also your order file information. All of the templates will then make adjustments for any tax that's been added by Etsy that's retained by them and settled direct. So this is the tax that gets charged to your customers but doesn't get paid to you. You can then add and categorise any other income and expenses that you might have for your business so that you get to see your whole profitability on one template. And the other thing is that they all work for any date, so you can buy them once and then use them for multiple years. You just need to change the date that you see at the top of your reports. In this video, I'm going to concentrate on the version that's for non VAT registered sellers in the UK, Australia or Europe. So you're in the right place if obviously you sell on Etsy, you're based in the UK or Australia, or you can use it in other locations as well, as long as your payment account is in English and you're not VAT registered. And this is because if you are VAT registered, then we need to pull the VAT that you've charged on your sales out of your figures. So what makes this template especially right for you? There are three main benefits. The first is that it includes a tax year summary, and this runs from a daily basis rather than a monthly, so that you can start your year on the 6th of April, which is what you need for your UK tax return if you're a sole trader. The second is a date converter. When you drop your order file in from Etsy, it uses a US date format, which isn't recognised in the UK by our computer programmes, so the dates don't get recognised properly. So this file includes a column that will automatically convert those US dates into UK formats, which can be read and give you the right year and month for your numbers. And the third one is that if you're not VAT registered and you're based in a VAT country like the UK, Etsy will charge VAT on all of your fees as an extra expense. So this will pull out that VAT and show it on a separate line in your income statement. So let's take a look at the file and you can see exactly what this looks like. So this is what the automated Etsy bookkeeping template actually looks like. You would begin on the start here page and this is where you add your business details. You set the year that you want to see in the reports and you add your own income categories and your own expense categories to match your business. You would then drop in your Etsy payment account. So in all of these templates, you drop in your data using the black columns. The blue columns include formulae that I've added to make the reports work. So you drop in your payment account, you drop in your Etsy order file from here, going across all the way. Um, there's a lot of columns on your order file. You need to go all the way over to column N. Um, there are then two summary sheets. So your payments check, which looks at your payments account and summarises all of your information by month and by category. You have your order summary, which I'll come back to in a second. You would then add your other income and other expenses. So these are things that are outside of Etsy. So if you do craft shows or you sell online on other platforms, you would add them in here. Um, add in all of your other expenses, so materials, postage, um, advertising, website costs, training, mileage, anything that suits your business. And all of those sheets then get summarised into this 12 month report. So this shows you your complete months um, by category um, for the year that you've set up that you've said you want to see in your reports. So you get your total income, your total expenses, and you get a profit and loss by month and by year. And then the next sheet is where the first benefit of this template comes in. So you also get an annual summary. So you can see at the moment, I'm using the 1st of April as the start of my year, which matches what is on the 12 month report. And if we look at this profit and loss line, you can see it was a loss for the year of minus 31.87, which is the same as you see here. 
But if you're wanting to get to your precise tax year numbers, so if you want numbers starting on the 6th of April to match the UK tax year, you would literally just change it in here. And you can see that what it's done now is to move some of the figures, and they were from the first few days of April, into the previous tax year. And these would be the numbers that would go on to your tax return. So that gives you the year running from the 6th of April to the 5th of April. When you're ready to do, go into next year, you would just change this again, 6, 4, 20. You can see that all of the numbers that were in this column have now moved over here into the previous year, and you're ready to start adding your data in for the next year, for the year to the 6th of April. So this gives you a really easy way of getting figures if you want to run them from the 6th of April to the 5th, or any other year, you can put any date you like into here and it will run and update the numbers down to a daily basis. So the second benefit, if we go back to the Etsy order file, you can see that when you added your figures in here, so this is the file as it is given by De Etsy, so as you download it straight from Etsy, and you can see that on some of these lines it doesn't recognise what the year is or what the month is. And that's because it's looking at this date and it's saying, I don't know what the 12th day of the 21st month is supposed to be, because this is written in the US date format where they write 21st of December as 1221 and we would actually write it as 2112. So this is particularly crucial if you're um, outside of America or anywhere that doesn't use month, month, day, day, year, year as your date format. So if you would always write the 21st of December as 2112, then what you can do is go back to the Start Here tab, change this to Converted Date, go back to the Order File, and you'll see that these are all now correct. And that's because it's now saying, let's use this column instead of this column. So it just does that for you, and you don't have to mess around with your dates. Luckily, payment account data tends to be okay. It does tend to recognise these dates as, as um, in the UK or US format. It doesn't seem to matter, so you don't normally have to do anything with the payment account. But the order file does cause some problems. So that's the second benefit of using this version of the template. If you're outside of America or anywhere that doesn't use the US date format. So then the third benefit that we talked about um, was VAT on your fees. So if you go back to this payment account sheet, if you're in a VAT country like the UK or Europe or um, Australia, you will see that you'll get charged VAT on your fees. Um, if you're somewhere like Canada, you might get charged GST or it might be called something else. Um, but this is particularly for people in uh, VAT linked countries so particularly the UK like I say Australia and in Europe although you do need to make sure that your payment account is in English for this template to work and what this will do is it will look at everything that's called VAT and drop it into this line here so it will pick up that VAT that you've been charged on your fees and show it as an expense we go to the 12 month report you can see that it's pulled it through as an expense line Unfortunately, it's more difficult to spread it back over the fees to which it relates, but it shows it at least as a separate line so you can see exactly how much VAT you've paid. The other thing it will pick up is any postage labels that you've bought through Etsy. Again, it looks up the term for postage labels and will put it onto a separate line so you don't need to manually enter those. So those are the key benefits of using the non-VAT registered template for UK sole traders or for people in Australia or Europe, but you must have your payment account in English for this to work. But what if this isn't quite what you need? Maybe you're based elsewhere. So I've got separate versions of the templates available for you if you're based in the US, in Canada, or if you're a UK VAT registered sellers. And I've got separate videos to walk you through these, which you'll find links to below this video. So there you go, the automated Etsy bookkeeping template, especially for non-VAT registered sellers. I hope that's answered any questions that you may have, but if there's anything else you need to know, just pop over to Etsy and drop me a message there and I'll be very pleased to help. Thanks for watching.